if there weren't copyright rules, the whole soundtrack to this video would be that song Sunflower by Post Malone, but unfortunately, you girls can't do it. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the change. You Hello. Hello. You might notice a slight change of scenery. Yes, once again, we are on the road. And guess what? We actually are at a watermelon farm, but it's also a sunflower farm. And that's what we're here for today. This place that we're at has apparently very tall sunflowers, so we're very excited to see them. But even more exciting, they have a certain kind of sandwich. No, they don't. Available. Zip it. Zip. Look, all ladies and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A. It's not available <laughs> this year. <laughs> Someone's getting excited. It's not available this year, but what's in it again, Elena? The sandwich is an Italian panino bread with sliced watermelon, basil or basil, however you what, choose to say it, it? Yeah. and crumbled feta cheese. Also, those people were walking the wrong way. You don't have to wear a mask right now outside because everyone stays six feet apart. But those people walked the wrong direction, so they actually they broke walked the rules. Out the but they were wearing masks. So I guess they had their own version of rules, so we can't comment. Uh, my arm is getting tired from holding this, so we will check back in when we're at the sunflowers. 12 seconds later. This is the beginning of the beautiful fields. Let's just take a little look. So pretty. Just rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of sunflowers. An endless number of sunflowers, like literally we're everywhere turn. you look. We're turning with. <laughs> I have to give Elise a notice because <laughs> always I always start turning and she's like, and oh, like, okay. Oh. And it's always when I'm in the middle of like thinking about something or saying it. Anyhow, my head is big. Look at these sunflowers in comparison to my head. I wear an extra large men's hat. Like, oh my god. I actually wear a large. Everyone thinks that I have a really small head because it's narrow, but here's a little tidbit of info if anyone wants to buy me a hat. It's a big head too. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> but back to the sunflowers, like, it's just like never ending. There's so many. A few moments later. So something highly convenient happened. Which doesn't always slash ever happen for us, but today was our day. So we were taking some pictures for our Instagram at Lana X Lisa. Check us out if you haven't already. And something very nice happened. We started getting some suggestions about how to pose from someone sitting in a chair. And he was like, sorry, I'm going to stop. And we we're like, no, no, keep it coming. Turns out he was the ground photographer. So your girls just had a photo shoot. So, so we will be showing you those if they're nice. But I was just showing you the field. <laughs> and I know I kept coming along with it. Hopefully you don't mind my head in the middle of all the sunflowers. Now we are walking up the trail to the sunflower lookout point. There are apparently, I think, three trails that were that there are on property. I can't really speak anyhow. We were told which places to take photos and take looks at. So by the professional photographer. Yeah. So now we know the spots. Now we know. Mm -hmm. Look at this field. This is just all sunflowers. It is so crazy. They're never ending. FYI, the sound recorded kind of weird in some of these videos, so we're doing our own voiceovers, LOL. As you all know from our Milan coffee video, I had an incident ODing on espresso. I recently went through something traumatic. I don't even know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. So, a little while back, I had a super early morning and I needed to be at peak energy levels. So I made myself a level nine espresso and horror ensued. Let's hope that this one is a more successful attempt at becoming a coffee drinker. We got iced coffees with oat milk and vanilla in it. So if Elena doesn't like that, it's like an adult chocolate milk, so I don't really get that, so. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll update you in a minute. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Truth? Sorry. <laughs> truth. I was saying truth and tooth because it looked like there's like a black spot on my screen and it looked like like it lines up. Do you see that? Yeah. It lines up like right where 
um, my tooth line is with the phone and it made it look like I had like a really big gap tooth it's and I was really look. confused. I wouldn't suggest. <laughs> it's like your version of grills. Okay. The mo it's really throwing me off like. Okay. I'm just not going to look at the black spot on my phone, but this is the Take moment of truth. Let's see what you think. Oh, love it. So mm -hmm. good, right? It doesn't like taste a, like coffee. No, it tastes like an, a mocha ice cream. <laughs> Here's a news flash. I've never had a frappuccino, but this is what I imagine one to taste like. No, nothing like it. Oh. Much but, sweeter. Much sweeter. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're a, a lot sweeter, and it's like you chew it like a, like a, I don't even know what, like a milkshake. Okay, Lisa, what's our next stop? Our next stop is to a, it's like a, a fancy butcher bakery patisserie and Ooh. the name i can't remember is the heatherly farm shop thanks for the prompt <laughs> we will see you there they go and they come you like the summer breeze do the tree you like get away shooting me you like the summer time I'm really hungry, so I'm excited to see what they've got inside for us. It's like lunchtime. like lunchtime and we still haven't eaten yet today. The biggest tomahawks I've ever seen in my life. And all of the sausages you can and can't imagine. So we got some of those chicken, spinach, and feta sausages, but we didn't get anything to eat right now because it was mostly like these big sandwiches, which looked amazing and smelled amazing, but not what we were in the mood for. So the hunt for a meal continues. Where are we off to next? We are off to a local cidery. Ooh, hopefully they have food. Otherwise, we'll be getting cut. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life in a pot for the weekend. Girl, I said We're at the cidery. Yay, can't wait to have some drinks and eat some food, but we smell ketchup. Ketchup. It's and a very strong smell of ketchup. We're generally not fans of ketchup, but I assume with ketchup comes fries, so all right. Also, probably a hot dog. Uh, I feel like people eat like grilled cheese with ketchup. I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, any we're we're anti ketchup. Any but of these items minus ketchup, we're both in for. We figured we'd give the narration before we have to put on our masks again. So these are our thoughts. We'll these see are our faces again. If you can't see, along with a whole shop, there are like little stalls. It's not like a farmer's market, but like it's a little market in a patio. Let us show you what we see. They have this whole patio area and these wind catchers. An ice cold cider. Look at that view. Wow, it's so pretty. Thank you. Uh-huh, <laughs> that one too. Anyhow, can't wait. Oh, sorry. oh that was my foot. <laughs> Cute little bridge too. So many different types of cider. The peachy pear is what we are on the hunt for. We feel like that would probably taste the least like beer, but who knows? So here's a little something I have to say. Let's hear it. I hate beer. It's really gross. I don't Same. like the carbonation. I don't like the smell and I don't like the taste. Yeah, it's just not for me either. And then there's some ciders that I think taste like beer and some oh, that have a nice flavor. Yeah. So here's the question. Is this one going to be a beer-like cider or? A sweet cider. We were at a concert once and we were like, oh, Summer's Bee, delicious. We ordered it, but it was like the beer tasting one, not the apple-y delicious one. Oh my we, God, it was disgusting. We were both so not pleased with that. Let's just leave it at that. So our brilliant plan is this. We got some cider and we got some cups and we're going to pour a little taste and if we like it we'll get a pitcher but if it's disgusting then we don't feel like we have to drink a lot of something disgusting and that we haven't wasted so our official taste test oh you can cheers me oopsie daisy mm. it's actually really refreshing it tastes like the skin of a green apple yeah it's not super sweet which is nice so you can drink not just one of them and have a huge headache which we both get from super sweet drinks and it's not a beer so hey we're in business officially crushing our first can <laughs> just two girls drinking their cider we're just like know. two cool chill Easy breezy, girls no big deal mm -hmm. we just drink cider now brews and bros <laughs> we make our own beef jerky that's what we do <laughs> i don't know okay <laughs> 
<laughs> but we're okay. cool and chill, so we don't mind. Yeah, no big deal. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Honestly, mm -hmm. no one's ever said either of those things about that. Chill's we're the not people us. that they're like, come dressed casually, and we come in peacock feathers in a tutu. Okay, so we got our bruise, but here's the issue. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean it's this in a rude problem. way. The food in there looked disgusting, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'll let you get some Problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. I know, like. <laughs> it's just not what we're in the mood for today. I shouldn't say disgusting, it's just unappetizing. Un un for us. So, now we need to find something to eat. Wish us luck. We will be Googling. Are you Googleizer? Seeing as we've driven to about 100 different places and haven't eaten yet, we are driving home now and we will be eating. <laughs> We're going to be hangry in a few short seconds, so now it's time to go home and eat. See you next week. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more of us. Are you following us on Instagram at Alana Exaliza? And if you're not, you should. We upload new videos every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell.